Shakespeare. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I like Amsterdam. I liked it a little bit more uh, until recently when detailed documenta was replaced as corporate identity type of the uh, ex museum. <laughs> I'm very pleased that the lettering of the home monument I made 20 years ago is pretty difficult to replace. So probably they will not do it. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Education Act. It's probably just the most important document, most important document of the uh, of 2030. If you go to Google, uh, you get a lot of hits. It was even on popular televisions in the Netherlands. They, they discussed the design even and the fact that it was, it was written with a broad nib and things like this. And it was shown for three months in the new, new, Nieuwe Kerk, which is opposite here of the Dam. And they were not allowed to make photographs. So this is a legal photograph by my wife. And you can see my daughter here. She's very proud. We were not allowed to make photographs, but of course ministers are allowed to make photographs. That's the difference. You all recognize this building. It's opposite of the dam, uh, designed by Jacques van Kampen in the 17th century. And there the act was signed on the 30th, on 30 April. Well, until she signed, you hear the crowd. So it is a history. Uh, the one I wrote was the fourth in, in a row, and the first one was in 1814 for Libben de Derde. And as you can see, it's uh, written was written at a flexible point of pen. This one was written by uh, Piet van Tricht. He was a lecturer at the Royal Academy in the Hague, and this one was made in 1948 for Juliana. And you recognize this one. This one was written by Gerrit Noordzee. And actually, he was a, uh, a pupil of uh, Piet van Tricht. And this was in 1980 for uh, the application of Juliana. And then you come to an interesting point, actually. Uh, when I discussed, when I talked with, with a colleague from Belgium in, uh, in May about the costs and all the work we done for the uh, application act, he said, we will never do this in, uh, in Belgium. There's no tradition, no history. Uh, and I was surprised. I said, what will we do? I said, probably it will be a laser trip. And they said, come on, no, that can't be true. And a couple of months later, Albert uh, resigned. And actually, this looks like a laser trip. So it's completely different in the Netherlands. I will not tell you, it's a real secret. I have to keep on saying secret. How much it cost? It cost but, uh, the Dutch Education Act was very, very expensive, and I don't think that this was an expensive document. Um, I was abroad, not, not on a very secret uh, mission, to be honest, but I spoke about the secrets of um, standardizations and systematizations in the uh, uh, relations and in the uh, uh, 17th century in time, in unitizations. And at that moment, I was phoned by somebody from Enschede, and he asked me, we have, he told me we have a problem with, uh, with the calligraphy of the Education Act. 
can you do it? And I said, okay, but what's the idea? I said, next week it has to be finished, the writing. So basically you have seven days. And I had to stay a couple of days in, in Birmingham before I went home. And they asked me to write immediately dur during the night, actually, from Monday to Tuesday, uh, the first one on paper and the first one on vellum. And I did that, but just from left to right. And I didn't look much at the high definition. And this was sent by courier to the uh, office of the Queen. And it took them one day. And on Wednesday morning, they, they, they said they were very enthusiastic about everything and uh, had the job. And then there were three and a half days left, which is not much. So I was added to the AVA, 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 not the A-team, but sort of A-team. Um, and this is Henk Reuter from Enschede, Friedrich Demut, who did the building. This is our Drupstein. He made the design, and together we worked on it, and it was just very nice. There were a lot of demands, actually. They wanted to have something completely different from the 1981, which is very nice, but it was completely, com it was completely complete when it was signed. So the seal was added already, which made it difficult. And Juliana was not very happy with it, because they had to put the document partly on her lap, and as you can see, she didn't hide her expression the director of the cabinet let me the act of taking who are under coming in that's on my last hand taking who are as regering vorstin on 4 september 1948 set they are the first and that her mother had made a stand had done from the beginning is nu nog slechts enkele seconden verwijderd van het koningschap. Het gaat over haar over op het moment dat haar moeders handtekening is voltooid. Vervolgens zet de nieuwe koningin haar handtekening in de hand. Het is voor het eerst dat is toegestaan dat de applicatie onder het oog van de camera's kan plaatsvinden, waardoor miljoenen in Nederland en daarbuiten er kennis van kunnen krijgen. Dan zullen zij nimmer weten wat moeder en dochter op dit intieme moment met elkaar bespraken. So, that is some, something that they didn't want to have in the new one. So, it had to be signed, but no problems with putting things on that. And there were some other demands. Uh, one was the high foundation. So, the, the form of the text and the flow was completely uh, fit, so, and, and, and I didn't have any chance to change this, which made it much more difficult. This was the idea. So, a separate act to sign, and later on it would be uh, placed in a case with a seal. And this was the design, and immediately you can see this was difficult. It was designed as typography, not as a document that has to be, had to be written. Uh, and centering text is something as a calligrapher, you, you never do actually. It's extremely difficult because you have to calculate exactly the length of the, of the lines. Or you have to, to write it first and then trace it. This was done with the uh, sub chasery, which also is different from the humanistic ministry. So we discussed this, and I said I have to write two versions before some days, or so I have three and a half days. Um, it's going to be quite complex. If you want to be sure that it's going to be perfect, uh, I suggest another way, and that's writing the letters and making a font of it, digitize it, and then we typeset it, and then we can still screen it on the uh, on the vellum. So I made a range of letters, and I had only two days to do this for the uh, uh, municipal and the italic or cursive. So I selected them this way. I put them on cardboard, and then I used our auto tracer and the DTL conferences suite to uh, to trace them all and put them in a font. Next, it was nice too. I did this in one day, writing this this one, this right, 
writing traces and put it in the font and, and even making the uh, alternates and spacing the stuff. And then, of course, it had to look like handwriting. It is handwriting, but then legends are. So I had to come up with contextual alternates to this way. And the of course. And then we had the document, and um, it was exactly, exactly the flow that was uh, discussed. And then it went to the uh, to Trudy for the for building the letters, and we made a lot of tests. Or a lot of tests were made on vellum. Silk screen on vellum is not that easy. So you can see here on top it's lighter, at the bottom it's, it's darker, and basically I think uh, all vellum in the Netherlands. I'm not exaggerating. All vellum in the Netherlands was used for testing pipes. Or even thinking of shooting cows uh, to get more fellow. <laughs> but at the end, we managed and really started gilding the stuff. And that's, that's a lot of work, and she made a lot of tests, and I think she did an excellent job. And it was nice to see the, the tests and, and the different heights and, and the different uh, sorts of gold to see the, uh, how it works. So that was really interesting. And then the precursors. Every detail was discussed. The pens, the ink in the pens, the silken ink was tested. It should last now for a thousand years. I will never know. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it worked. But everything. So, so in the 1980s, 1980 there was a problem with the pens, and uh, the mayor of Polak, thanks to them, signed it, but he signed it twice because the ink didn't. Uh, come out of his pen, so he had to do it twice. You can see it in the document. So, so we had even 50 extra pens for in case of. And uh, if you go to YouTube, you can see that the Queen Beatrix, the Princess Beatrix, takes the pen with her. That's a nice pen, I want to have that one. <laughs> and this was a document at the end, and a documentary was made. And I show you a small part of it. And here the designer is telling about. I tell them before that it's a map of the things, but the text and then the stuff before that. He's telling about the idea and how it should be. Don't come. It should work. And he has finished it. Did you recognize the time place for the dance of Beatrix and Dylan Alexander? It's quite young, that's in the past. It's in the past. So he's telling that the type should be cut back of course. Should be cut back. <laughs> and here I'm telling the, the point that, that if you use Chinese ink, it's not, you can't always uh, damage it a little bit with wet hands. And that, that's, that's a risk, and probably for that reason, in 1980 it was made in this way, so you couldn't touch the letter. The but this is a print. And he's telling that it's a digital Look at this. So it's about secrecy. And actually, I'm telling you already a couple of things I'm not allowed to tell formally. Um, but everything is destroyed at the end. Also the fillers. Look at this. This is not my lettering. So in the documentary about the lettering, he's showing stuff changed me because the original films were not there anymore and also the digital data was not there anymore. And the second copy, because two copies were made of the act, was destroyed. That was quite possible actually. Um, so
so everything is, is, is secret, and, and uh, I told a little bit more when they uh, filmed us at the National Air Guide, Air Guide but this was uh, not put in the film. Film with a hoop dick is hard, and that would all the museum of Mark. So the same screen of Kopi. De zeventiende kans is omdat het uh, gebleken wordt dat de indruk van de zaak niet uh, goed genoeg het materiaal niet kon trekken. Het net is een uh, tijd in het dier En dan hebben we door middel van diverse testen met een aantal eten de goede voor gevonden. Hoewel het uh, applicatieperkement uh, elkaar maar een eerste plaats is, hebben we het minder gedrukt voor uh, de vroeger onderhandelen. Is dat in de inleiding voor kopjes dat denken dat kopjes also voor haar? And she's telling now how it worked, and she had to go to the computer. That's what And she's explaining why it's called for good in, in Dutch. So to work with the other people, experts in, in, in this case, in this part, and I enjoyed it a lot, and we had a very good, uh, good contact. So, I end how I started. I like it.